Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет! I'm a Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I usually do tutorials and review affordable, all inexpensive makeup, sometimes a little bullshit, but mostly inexpensive, from various websites, drugstores. And I'll test it on my face and I'll pass the savings to you guys. In this video, we're doing uh, uh, the 4th of July special, of course, as you can see, the stars, the stripes, and a little bit of pop art inspired by Nikki Tutorials and Alice. So if you guys are interested to see how I created this, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so YouTube notifies you every time I upload. I upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So like this video helps me and leave me a comment. Let's get right into this tutorial. So before I start with the tutorial itself, I just wanted to mention who I got inspired by. So first of all, I watched Nikki Tutorial's video of Bright look, and that was Bright look and Pop Art look in one. So Nikki Tutorial's was inspired by Ellis Atlantis. I never heard of him, but now that I checked out his page, he's got some bomb, amazing looks like this. So that's his Instagram page. So I'm going to link this Instagram page down below. Uh, Nikki Tutorial took his bright look, pop art, and she made it her own. Then make me up Misa, my friend Misa. I'm proud to call her my friend. She's a sweet girl from Scotland. And I mention her a lot in my videos because I love her and she's extremely talented. She's got 60 something thousand subscribers already and she deserves much more. So check her out. She did her own bright look with pop art like Nikki tutorials. And she put a little her own twist on it. And I put my own twist on this because I already did a lot of bright looks. So I'm doing the 4th of July eleganza, extravaganza. So I've got the stars, the stripes, and I got inspired by all of these artists and created my own look. So if you guys are interested, I'm about to do tutorial. I'm going to make it not too long because in real life it took me a long time. But we're going to fast forward some moments so you don't get bored. <laughs> so let's get into the tutorial. So I did this eye already because essentially they're going to be the same. So again, I'm following Missa's and uh, Ellie's tutorial, but I'm doing it my own since we're doing a 4th of July theme. So I'm using my go to that Forever Gel eyeliner. Forever. It's not my favorite, but for the looks like this, because it's more pliable, it's easier to uh, apply thicker lines. I'm just using the same cheap AF brush that came with the liner. <laughs> and I'm not trying to duplicate the eyebrow. I concealed my eyebrows, as you can see, with a concealer and the color corrector and the powder because I have microblading. So I shave my hairs, I know. I almost have no hair anyway. So I shave whatever I had. So it's just trying to uh, duplicate the same eyebrow look. All right now I'm going to use a concealer brush and kind of clean up around it because I want to, them to look the same and I'll be back. Okay, the eyebrows more or less matching, and I went with the concealer around it, kind of cleaned it up a little bit. So now we're going, I'm going with e.l.f. brushes from JK Set. Uh, on this eye, this one I use someone else. I mean, they're already dirty. I'm not going through the color switch because it's blue and it's red. So I'm using an extravaganza palette for both. So we've got blues and we got reds. Uh, the blues here, they don't have deep like a cool tone blue, like an American flag. So uh, I'm going to dip into a Lisa Edwards palette that has a real deep blue. But I'm going to start with this blue right here on the bottom. And I'm going to start with the biggest fluffiest brush. Let me get myself situated. Because that palette is huge. It's taking up the whole my little table. If you're wondering, I have a little foldable table from Walmart. I'm sitting in the front, uh, next to the front door, 
because I now have a small apartment in LA, not in pits. So my filming situation is right next to the front door. And I have a little, like this bowl, <laughs> foldable table. And I mean, everything falls off of that thing. So I'm just gonna go in with that color. This palette is unbelievably beautiful. So impressed with it. So I did sort of a more like a Alice look rather than Nikki or uh, Mrs. Because I like that spotlight. And since I'm going with July 4th team rather than Pride months, I've done a bunch of Pride looks already. So I kind of want to go with what's going on at the moment. And at the moment we have Independence Day. So I'm going with a lighter blue and we'll see. I might mix the two because this one might be too turquoise. So I'll mix this and this together. The other one is more cool tone. I want it to be as close to the color on the flag as possible. Oh yeah, that's much better. Now I'm going to deepen it up with the Alyssa Edwards palette blue. John, what do you think? The blue on the American flag. Is it cooler toned? Cooler toned than what I have in my eyes now? The hue on camera, by the way. Really? Hmm. So my dear husband says it's about right. I disagree. I think American co uh, flag color blue is a little cooler tone, more violet. Dark. Dark, exactly. Never mind, he's colorblind. <laughs> I'm being shady. All right, so now that we did this wash of color, I'm going to use a deeper blue from Dream It from Alisa Edwards palette. This is more like the color on the flag. So I'm using another Elf uh, JKS J2. It's like a flat but fluffy. So I'm gonna go in and just deepen up the outer corner. It's really not about the depth in this look because it's pop art. So it's more about getting the tone of the blue correct. Since we're going with a the flag theme. Yeah, this is more like the flag color. And I'm going to inner corner because we're going to be doing kind of a little sloppy spotlight, I would say. Because this is about the design rather than spotlight eye. So there's going to be more things going on on this eye as well. And that's what I'm going to do on camera. And hopefully it's going to come out right. I'm going with a J1. Got lint on it for some reason. There you go. <laughs> so I'm going into the low lash line with the Lisa Edwards palette first. So this is not like a precise eyeshadow application, more of a, just to blow out the color all over. Now I'm going to highlight my brow bone and this is just a white in the same big palette, this one. Thing is, my eyebrow was concealed and set because I was covering up the tattoo, so it's really hard to get anything to stick to it. And I did this white line graphic, so it's kind of waste now, waste the breath pretty much because it's going to be covered up. But I went through the same steps on the other eyeball, so this eyeball is getting the same treatment. Yeah, sort of like this. And taking a big brush, the first one. Alright, so I'm going to just plop a mix of silver and white in the middle. This too. This is mostly covered up by lashes and all designs, so I'm not trying to make it extra bright or neat or anything. It's just a pop of color, so I'm going to use a flat brush that I use for the other eye, like this, Morphe, and I'm gonna go dig in. I'm not worrying about adding more concealer because this uh, spotlight is not the focus of the look. So. And I'll add a little bit of, of blue shimmer on both sides, just a little bit. Taking the same flat brush and blending 
with a matte wood. So now I'm going to pop the white pencil in my waterline and I'm going to use a color pop. Okay, take an ABH eyeliner after I pop the white uh, color pop eyeliner in my waterline. I'm just taking this one and I'll just line my so for mascara, I'm just using a regular Essence Lash Princess and all right, here's my Lush. So this is like a triple stacked. It's one pair from Walmart, another pair from Walmart, and then a little bit here on the edge. So this is like real dry Lush. So I'll be back with the Lush. So now that I have the eyelashes on, now I'm going to draw the crease line. And I separated these two steps because I just kind of want to see the big picture and compare the both eyes. So I get a similar or the same situation. I'm going to try to go with this felt tip liner from Focalure, the one I used on this eye. But these things, they tend to dry. So if it's dry, I'm going to switch back to ABH. So let's try C. Where I'm starting on the other side. And it's already dry. So I'm switching back to ABH. The felt tip liner is probably easier to use for this kind of thing, but they tend to dry very quickly. So, so I'm gonna do the same thing on a low lash line and line my low lash line way below the natural line. So I'll try to make this match, I'm going to use NYX White Eyeliner and I'm going to highlight with just a regular eyeliner. I got this in Walmart the other day and this is a new one actually. Let's see. So the old one was in white packaging, this is Epic Wear in black, so packaging. This one is supposed to be very pigmented, so we're going to go on my, above my, below my brow, on my brow bone. And to separate the lines, I'm gonna put it uh, here, between upper lash line and lower lash line. There you go. And the inner corner, just the same way I did the other eye. Okay, so since we're going for stars and stripes, I uh, added one stripe here already. So I'm just gonna draw a couple more just to make it graphic. So I've got about three here. I didn't want to go overboard because they're gonna get too overwhelming, and I think three is enough. And so here I'm going to glue on some stars. So I wanted to paint them on, but this might be a little tricky because this eyeliner is not the most pigmented. I didn't really like it that much. So I have these stars and they're gold, but I can paint white on top of them. <laughs> so we're gonna get creative here. So they look like this, like a little tiny gold stars. So I'm gonna use the glue, the eyelash glue. I'm gonna put them over here and I'll be back as I glue them on because that's the most tedious, not interesting part. Just a little glue, tweezers and the stars. So I'll be back. All right, so that's where we are. I put a little more white here just to get a little more stripey. And I put all the stars and the gold. Almost forgot to show you one. So one is still gold and the rest of them are white. It's very simple, actually, it works. I'm kind of destroying beautiful gold stars, but I didn't have any white stars, so... It's pretty much, that's it. I painted over. I didn't have enough room for 50 of them. I got big eyelids, but not that big, so... I got like about 15, 16. Not 13 people, not 13. Occur. So yeah, this is where we're getting. I might add some more stripes later at the end, so we'll see. Because I'm just kind of going by the way I feel. So just to get a little more sparkle, like on this eye, I add a little glitter on top. 
It does. You can always live with glitter. This is a Hyundaian. Just like silver glitter. Just pop a little bit here in the middle. So I added some individual eyelashes with uh, the same eyeliner at the bottom. It's uh, straight as I could, but it's not that easy with ABH, but whatever. So I got this big open eye with the stars and the stripes. I mean, it's getting very, very much flag-like. So now we're going to contour. So this is really cool. So what Nikki Tutorials and the other artist Alice did, they used the rainbow style contouring. Since this is red and blue, I'm just gonna go with red and blue. So here I'm gonna do blue and here I'm gonna do red. So I'm gonna start with contouring with blue. I'm gonna use the same palette, of course. So I'm thinking these two colors, because I don't wanna go too deep. Like, so I'm gonna go with this lilac -y blue and a little bit more turquoise blue. I'm just using an old brush. It's a kind of a foundation brush because my contour brush, I have only one. And I don't wanna mess it up. I might use that for pink, for red. I might wanna go to ABH and go with a deeper blue because I still wanna go with the, the same undertone that's supposed to be on American flag. So I'm going with ABH blue. That blue is really, really deep, so I have to be careful. So now I'm gonna use the same blue on this temple, the lighter shades of blue. And we're just gonna contour a little bit here. So now I'm using another brush. I'm going to use my blush brush and use that for the red. So the red in the palette, the same red I used in my eyelid. Gonna start with that, it's very bright. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this temple. All right, contouring is going on. I add a little bit of a highlight here with a shimmer, one of the shimmer shades, and kind of a little bit here too on the side. And I don't know if I like it or I regret it, but this is my show. <laughs> That's my exec executive decision. So I decided to still add a little sparkle here. So now I'm going to do the chin. So I'm thinking doing a blue here and the red here to go with like a different uh, colors. So I'm gonna use the same brush because why not? And now I'm gonna go into my neck. And this is the way Missa, I like the Missa added color. So I want to add color on my neck as well. Because I think it adds something, something to the look. So now I'm doing the blue on the other side. All right, so what Nikki Tutorials did, she added color on, on the tip of her nose. And I think it was pink. I don't want to look like a, a I was just talking to my husband. Rudolph reindeer with a red nose. So I'm just gonna go with blue instead. And I'm gonna go with a lighter blue. There you go. Oh, I think blue is cute. Almost added shimmer blue, but I think I need to restrain myself with shimmers. All right, let's not overdo it. I'm gonna look like that drowned person. <laughs> so now we're going to use the lines, the red, black lines for the pop art. All right, the cheeks as well. So now we we're adding the white, uh, the white highlights. And it's like one in the middle of the forehead. I'm using the same NYX eyeliner, by the way. I'm kind of living for this right now. <laughs> this is so cool. I really like this. So now I'm using a red lip liner. A red isn't my color. Uh, I never use red lipstick unless it's for the look. Uh, it just doesn't go with my 
I don't know, with my look, with my hair, with my makeup. I don't like red. But for this look, we're using this Perfusion Liner and Perfusion Lipstick I got in the dollar store. And I don't know about the quality, but I need red and I'm using red. So there you go. So now that we got the lips on, uh, I don't know why I even bothered with lip liner because the black eyeliner is supposed to go over and I'm uh, using the same one. So like, I'm really, really worried. <laughs> it's not gonna be even, but we'll try. Okay, now we need a highlight. The lips came out pretty decent, actually. I was worried about this uh, here. Okay, so I think we're getting somewhere and I think it's time to put my wig on because I want to do extra extra look as usual. Just my cheap AF white wig and I'll be back. Okay, everything is on. The wig is on. The look is finished. I added some uh, glitter specks with stars just to give it a little extra extra something. I kind of look like a doll. I really enjoy this. And the wig is really dull, like it's cheap AF and looks like a doll. I clipped it back a little bit so you can see all the lines, otherwise the bangs are getting over all the lines. I'm really living for this. I love this look. I didn't feel like doing it first, but now I'm like, ooh, girl, it does look like 4th of July. Let me zoom in. I don't know. There is nothing to really zoom into, but here we got uh, glitter stars. Got a little bit blue on the nose. I'm questioning that decision, <laughs> blue nose. But yeah, I like the lines, they're not perfect, but it's mostly uh, like a stylized uh, American flag, not real, but I really like this. Now I feel like I don't want to take it off. And of course, it's like way past dinner time. It's 8 p.m. and it just finished. And I'm living for this. So that's it, that's the finished look and happy July 4th, happy Independence Day. I got a little a Walmart Eleganza Extravaganza bracelets, <laughs> Walmart jewelry, cheap and cheerful and got a little bit of, here's like a Pride and 4th of July put together, something, something. And that's it, we got the look. It's uh, like Nikki tutorial says, it's drag, it's everything, and it's 4th of July this time. <laughs> so happy Independence Day. If you celebrate and if you're America, happy 4th of July. Hope you're celebrating safely. You're not uh, participating in crowds because we don't need more Corona cases because they're already going up. So calm down, people, sit at home, have a drink. Uh, throw some fireworks if you want to, but don't socialize. We still need to be safe. So enjoy the holiday. <laughs> enjoy your fireworks and happy 4th, everyone. Hope you like this look. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment. Don't forget to check out the original videos of Nikki Tutorials and make me up Miss uh, Miss uh, our dear friend. I love her and she's extra extra creative. So give them a like, check them out and of course the originator Alice, his Instagram page is going to be listed in the description box as well. So leave me a comment, let me know if you want to try this, if you have tried it. I mean, it's fun, it's fun to do. Pop art, pop. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in my next video and thank you for watching. Bye.